Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, isi-share ko sa inyo kung paano nga ba ako nakahanap ng trabaho dito sa China. Ano yung website na ginamit ko and yung process na pinagdaanan ko. So, maraming nagtatanong sa comments and even sa Facebook kung paano ako nakapaghanap ng trabaho. And on our last video, we discussed or I discussed yung mga qualifications na kailangan natin para at least makasecure tayo ng job dito sa China. So the first one is your bachelor's degree, your teaching degree, and that's very important. Second is your teaching experience. So mas maganda if you have years of teaching experience. And the third one na dapat hindi natin kalimutan is our Certificate in Teaching English as a Foreign Language or Certificate in TEFL and TESOL. Yeah, so at least 120 hours Certificate in TEFL or TESOL. So yun ang requirement dito sa China. Yun ang karaniwang hinahanap ng mga employers para at least mag-consider ka for the job. So ayun, diretso na tayo kung paano nga ba ako nakapaghanap ng trabaho dito sa China. Very simple, uh, ginamit ko yung website na Dave's ESL Cafe. Yan. So yan yung website, yan ang ginamit ko sa paghahanap ng trabaho. So you can see a lot of jobs sa Dave's ESL Cafe. Yan. Sa Dave's ESL Cafe, makikita mo dyan yung International Job Board, Korea Job Board. Yan. So sa International Job Board, mixed yung mga countries na nag-advertise ng jobs, ng ESL or EFL jobs. Sa Korea Job Board, so lahat ng jobs ay sa Korea. And sa China Job Board, dyan natin makikita yung different jobs dito sa China. So you have to evaluate everything. You have to consider everything bago natin tanggapin yung job dito sa China. So yan ang ginamit ko. Nag-search ako sa China Job Board and dyan ko nakita yung school kung saan ako nagtuturo ngayon. And I am really blessed na legal or I'm legally working here in China at the moment. So it's really a blessing na makapagturo ka sa ibang bansa legally and you're okay with it. So that's it. So you go to Dave's ESL Cafe. Hanapin nyo na ang China Job Board and makikita nyo ang napakaraming trabaho dito sa China. So may mga nagtatanong din kung ano nga ba yung mga dapat tandaan, yung mga signs and things to consider kapag nag apply ka na ng job sa China. And so, if nakahanap na kayo ng job sa Dave's ESL Cafe, so tignan natin kung ano yung answer ng school sa inyo. And that's the challenge there. Ang paghahanap ng trabaho sa China is challenging and sometimes disappointing. So, patience talaga. Sabi nga, patience is a virtue. Yung waiting time, yun talaga yung uh, medyo nakakakaba. And I think you need to consider yung Z visa. Kapag ang school mo ay magpo-provide sa'yo ng Z visa, for me, I think that's legal you're okay. okay. You're good to go. Okay yung school mo kasi they can provide you the Z visa which is the legal visa for you to work here in China. If they will ask you to come here in China using business visa, uh, for me, you have to think if you consider my job kasi you have to go here in China with Z visa or the working visa. So yun talaga yung dapat natin tandaan. Alright, so it's just a short video so I hope nakatulong siya sa inyo. It's your time to search for a job. Go to Dave's ESL Cafe and good luck on your job search. Pahabol pala. Sa paghanap ng trabaho overseas, for me, I believe na if it's for you, it's for you. If it's your destiny to find a job abroad or in China, it will happen. So all you have to do is wait, pray, and hope for the best. 